It's like wider than it is long. Wait a second, isn't that... Isn't that the definition of a chode? Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blazer, we're here with a new game for the channel called Revhead. No time for BS. Yes! As if I hadn't pissed off people from around the world enough. <laughs> this game is... It reminds me a lot of My Summer Car mixed with Jalopy. So this is a game that takes place in the Australian outback in a small town called Nordu, I think it is? And we are going over there to meet our buddy Charlie who owns a garage and a racetrack and a car dealership. And our job is going to be putting together awesome cars with tons of parts and everything else. And we can do a lot of things. We can be a mechanic. We can fix cars and get paid for it. We can put cars together and then sell them almost like a car dealer. Or we can build our own awesome cars and do racing. And that's why there's three different subsections of skills here. So... Just like how uh, My Super Car kind of takes place in like the 90s in Finland, this is going to take place in the 90s in rural Australia. So, yeah, prepare for old Gray to be pronouncing damn near everything wrong. Uh, and you guys are going to get to see me flex my amazing knowledge of car parts and car paraphernalia. First things first, we got to create a driver's license. Seems very, uh, very familiar, doesn't it? We also get this sweet ass Australian music in the background. Uh. Anyway, let's go ahead and start it off. For a name, you can see I already kind of like messed around over here. Uh, we're going to name ourselves Great. Because that's what we're going to freaking be. Boom. It gives you a little bit of a backstory here just about uh, how we get a postcard from Uncle Charlie. He owns this uh, amazing garage. He's got a racetrack, a backyard, all kinds of crazy crap. And we get the opportunity of a lifetime, boys. We get to go to the Australian Outback and put together cars and be awesome. I don't know, and drink Australian beer? What do you guys think, man? Australian beer, Finnish beer? Let me know in the comment section. Here we go, boys. It says, G'day, mate. How you doing? Haven't seen you. Oh, God, I can't do the accent. You guys will be yelling at me so bad. <laughs> If you want to hear me do the accent, feel free to let me know. Oh, it's going to be bad. I'm from Jersey, y'all. That's New Jersey in the uh, United States, that is. Seven cent post uh, stamps here. Although I don't know what the... Uh, I don't know what the currency was in 1996 Australia. Uh, but anyway, it says, Haven't seen you for yonks. How's your old man? Tell him Charlie says g'day. I just moved to Nordu, a real little slice of heaven for me. Every weekend there's races on the go. And with your love of cars, you should get over here. It's gonna be a flat out summer. So come give us a hand. See you when I'm looking at you, Charlie. Distributed by Creative Pudding, 1996. So let's go and continue. Now, right here, there's like a little bit of a tutorial. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it one so that you guys can kind of get an idea of how the game goes. And from what I've seen, if you do the tutorial, you get more money than if you don't do the tutorial. And, uh, you know, you got your, uh, I don't know, the ladies' royal crowns or something up here that we're using for our, uh, for our currency. And, uh, we want more of it. So it says, G'day, mate. Here you are. I'm glad you made it. Are you ready to get stuck in? So it kind of goes through here. He gives you the opportunity to choose whether you want to start on your own or kind of, like, help, have him help you out. Let's have him help us out because, again... You get extra money there, and you get to keep, like, the difference after we mess around. So he says, we need to buy a car, something cheap. Pick a cheap Walia. It looks small, but it's like it could squeeze in a V8. Take a sticky beak at the newspaper and find something cheap, but make sure it's not completely stuffed. So, in this game, from what I've seen, like, there's, like, this newspaper over here, right? And you click on it, and there's, like... I don't know, like, procedurally generated cars that show up here? I've seen all kinds of crap in here. Off-road stuff, like SUVs and such. Um, you know, different engines in them, different parts that are all busted down. So if you like the, like, part management uh, gameplay style, I think you'd really enjoy this. Because look at this. There is a ton of parts. And there's all kinds. And it looks like these shuffle around too. Because some of them are used, some of them are new, some of them are for some vehicles, some of them aren't for other vehicles. There's slick tires, and street tires, and off-road tires, and all the damn tires there. You got your V8 engines and such. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is buy a Walia. 
There's a couple of vehicles here. We got 15,000 to spend, but I'd like to save as much of it as I can. We got this A2 Wanja. But uh, he wants a Walia, and I have a feeling that we're going to have to choose between this rusty one or this cheap one. Um, so let's pick the let's pick the rusty one and see what happens here. Needs a fair bit of bodywork and a new coat of paint, but you can have it for forty five hundred bucks. Sure. Oh, not this one. Okay, so we have to we have to get this one. I'm guessing. Okay, got it. So in the beginning, you have no choice. That's fine. So that's why that one is always the same. I thought about that the first time I played too. So there's a little icon here, kind of like walks you through it. Like I said, it tells you to go out here to the to the parking area. And this is where we're going to keep all of our cars. And you can see, you could have quite a few of them, man. There's quite a few cars. Let's go ahead and select this one. It'll tell you all about the car. Um, let's see here. Motor. All this stuff always seems to be different as well. Like, I bought a car that had, like, 350,000 freaking kilometers on it. And it burned uh, 10 liters to the 100 kilometers, but it was a little bit faster. So, all this stuff is all over the place. So, right here, we got the, uh, the little four engine motor number E9. Uh, residential address, expiration date. And this one has 266,000 kilometers on it right now. 82 horsepower, man. Oh, God. So let's go ahead and select it. Once you select it, we can go ahead and start messing on it. As long as we go to the info screen, you can sell cars kind of as you like fix them up and stuff like that. But for right now, we're just going to kind of like go through this and make sure everything's like not crap. All right, click on the little repair icon here. Very good. So if you hold down with the uh, left mouse button, you can kind of like go around and see all the different parts of the car. And from what I've seen, like, the damage on the car is real. So, like, if, if it's missing a tire, like, if you find a car that's missing a tire, you're going to have to buy a tire and all that. If you find a car with a busted out headlight, you're going to have to fix the headlight. So he's saying just kind of clean all the crap off just because it looks like this thing's been, like, shit on by a dozen birds. So we will go ahead and give it a quick wash. There we go. Lightened it up a little bit. Uh, still got some rust spots on it. No big deal, though. All right, so Charlie's going on about us getting this car running smoothly. I, I guess that's Charlie. I really, uh, yep, that's Charlie. There we go. So if you ever want to talk to him, you sure can. We got to click on this to raise the old car up. No more gray messing around with the jack. It's all automatic here, boys. Now, this is what I was talking about where it comes like right in between my summer cars level of like kicking yourself in the ball sack and like jalopy's kind of simplicity. Um, there's a lot of parts here, and there's parts on the parts, if that makes any... Okay, so, like, you'll click on an air filter, or you'll click on the carburetor, and the carburetor will have an air filter on it, and those are, like, two separate parts. Or, like, you'll click on a wheel, or a rim, and the rim will have a wheel on it, and then they'll all have their own kind of, uh, you know, degradation and weight and all kinds of crap like that. And supposedly all that stuff makes sense. When you start messing around with, uh, with like racing and stuff like that. But right now we're just gonna mess around with the engine. So let's go ahead and click on the engine here. Uh, what do we got here? So we can repair the engine if we want to. The oil filter's shot, and the oil itself is crap. So Charlie over here says that we should buy a V8. So the old beater's got a four in it, and he wants, or I'm sorry, a V6. So let's go over here to the paper. We'll see what's what. Now, like I said, there's all kinds of friggin' parts over here. So we got a V6 engine with parts. Drive belt. This is probably the one that we have to pick. But I'm just kind of like looking through all these things because you can get, look at this. There's an L, complete XL6 engine. So what happens if we try and buy this, for instance? Oh, that's for a Wanja. All right. Yeah, we don't want none of that. We're going to want this one right here. Are you interested in my V6 engine with parts? It's a used complete V6 engine. Very good condition. You can have it for 4000 Yeah, why not? Close the newspaper. Click on the glowing blue circle inside of the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this whole damn thing real quick. Now we can put in our new engine. See this like, how do I say it? It's almost like, it's a glowing blue circle. It's like, it's like the freaking, the Lord's crystal of great power over here. We can select this and we can put stuff in it. So we have our SL4, but we have a brand new SV6. So let's go ahead and throw that in. Install. Very good. Now let's get this dunk sorted out. I'm sure that there's a couple of things that we're going to need to know. Select the engine and click fix, All right? We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Give it the old once over right there. Need clean filters. So we're gonna have to get air filters and oil filters. All right, so well, this oil filter doesn't look that bad, quite honestly. 
pretty damn good, uh, actually. All right, let's go in here. We'll do what he says for right now so we can kind of progress through. Here we go. Air filter, oil filter. Easy as pie. Boom. Boom. There you go. We got what we need. Now we can start messing with it. Over here, you can see the air filter. Go ahead and remove it. We can put a new one on right over here. Uh, what's the brand new one we got? Yeah, now we're going to have an extra air filter, which is kind of nice, too. So it's not all bad. Like, even though we're getting, even though we're taking off, like, parts that are still good. Remember, they stay in our inventory. They don't just, like, go away. So we can sell them or do all kinds of crazy crap with them. Go ahead and remove this. And then we'll put our brand new one in here. Look at this. We had a broken one, too. That's kind of odd. And there we have it. Okay. Oh, that may have been from our four-cylinder. So we're done here. Let's get the car down. So we're going to go ahead and lower the old yellow beast. Gray's yellow beast right over here. And time for a quick service. So now there's all these other things that you can do besides, like, putting new parts in and stuff like that. You can do uh, tire pressure, oil, uh, temperature. You give it a wash. There is an area for the spark plugs. The charge for the battery. Um, and all kinds of crap. So let's go ahead and mess around with the tires. Right over here, this part's pretty easy, man. All you gotta do is do some clicky clicks. And we'll go ahead and air up the tires. No big deal. We go over here for the oil. Uh, this oil is as black as the south end of a... Oh, God, I couldn't even read it in time. Well, let's go ahead and change out the oil. Now it's nice and yellow. So you can see there, as you as you kind of, like, run your, your vehicle around, your oil's gonna turn a lovely shade of crap. So we do have to keep an eye on that. And over here, we need more water in. So let's go ahead and fill her up. Now we can start up the engine. See what it sounds like. She's running, but it's rough as guts. Something's still stuffed. She's spilling black smoke. It sounds like a cement mixer. That sounds like pretty much every car I get to drive in these freaking games. I reckon the timing is all out of whack. Trim the timing by moving the needle to the middle. Ah, okay. So this is kind of like your little timing belt area. Pretty simplistic, actually. I wonder if we mess with this, if we'll get, like, less fuel economy, but more performance or something. Anyway, so now we can mess around with the paint job. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we're going to make it gray in color, damn it. Because that's what I feel like. You can do some other stuff, too. You can, like, put some stripes on it. You can put a freaking snake on it or something like that. Get some flames. You can get all of those if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's see here. It's an extra hundred bucks for all that crap. I don't want to spend all that. Uh, we'll just keep it a nice shade of gray for right now. I'm a cheap bastard. There we go. So click the back icon to finish and get paid. All right. So get this right up in here. We just went ahead and sold it. So there you have it. She's a beauty. My mate's stoked with it, and I hope you can build more cars with a few bucks. And that's it, man. You're an Aussie now. Gonna need a pair of thongs and a decent ride. Check the local rag to find a new car. So here we go. Now, we can buy our first car that we get to keep. Because we fixed that one up. It's sold. Now, there, remember, there's another part to this game. If you want to make money, you can go over here. What can I do for a few bucks? And then it says, if you want, I can give you some work. It says, great, what do you need done? And what happens is, like, people bring in their cars, and you gotta, like, you gotta, like, do stuff to it. So you gotta, look at this sweet-ass truck here, man. Look at the size of that bed. It's, like, wider than it is long. Wait a second, isn't that, isn't that the definition of a chode? <laughs> oh, I wonder how many of the audience knows what that is. All right, so it says, check the oil. Customer's car is a Jingu. Customer's name is Amelia. All right, Amelia, we'll go ahead and work on it for you. So go over here. Go over to the oil. Uh, oil looks just fine, quite honestly. Um, I mean, we can we can go ahead and repair it. But let's go ahead and lift her up real quick and kind of take a look at the inside. Just make sure, like, the oil filter's not all jacked up or something like that. Go over here to the engine right quick. Uh, no, nope, the oil filter's broken. That's probably the problem. So let's go ahead and remove this. Because we have to. We're going to need a new oil filter. I think we have one laying around, don't we? Yeah, we've got a good one right over here. But it's not the right one. We need one for a Jingu or some such. Let's see if we can find one in the newspaper up in here. Oil filter for a Jingu. There you have it, boys. Right there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Get up in here. Throw this some bitch in. Oh, yeah, man. We're going to be all over this. Boom. Nice installed oil filter. Go ahead and bring her down, make sure that there's good oil inside, and then give it over. Now, I think that we get to keep the balance whenever we do stuff like this. Let's give this a shot. Yep, oil's looking good. And back over to our dude here. It is finished, and there you go. We did a bang-up job. We got an extra 20 bucks. So we're not going to mess around with that right now. We got 6800 Let's take a look at the newspaper, because I know we're going to want our own damn ride. 
So in the newspaper for 6800 we've got, yeah, you see here now there are different vehicles in here. Oh, look at this. Got a Jingu in here now. Old 57. Uh, we got a, wow, that's a really nice car over there. We got brand new cars down here by Old Mills brand new cars or there have you. 51 Aaron Gabe Street. Uh, are these real places? Someone let me know. Like, Gabe Street McKay, Australia? Very curious about this. We got a wrecked Walia in here. I don't really, I don't think I'm going to want to do that. We got a heavily used Wanja. Uh, we have that rusty one that we couldn't buy before. We got this old Walia here too. I don't know, man. What do you think? The one between the rusty or the old? I kind of like classic cars. The old one might, might not be so bad. Are you interested in my old Walia? It's a heavily used Walia for sale. You can have it for 4100 bucks. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. What the hell, right? Good on you, mate. With a bit of work, this is going to be a perfect race car. All right, let's go take a look at our brand new Walia over here. It doesn't look that bad, man. Tell you what. It's got a four-cylinder in it. Oh, my God. 654,000 kilometers. God, Jesus. Woo. Okay. Well, um, this is going to be a tough one. Let's take a look at all the particulars first. Uh, it could use a little bit of fuel, but first things first, let's just check like the oil and everything like that. It doesn't have any oil in it. Uh, water, wash, I'm not worried about that. Could use some body work. Battery needs to get charged up. Let's go ahead and charge it up the rest of the way. So it looks like it's missing a few things because there's no oil in it. And I think I saw that the spark plugs are all jacked up. Let's take a look at the end in here. Oh God. Oh, look at this. Now there's a few things that you can just straight up fix, which is kind of nice. But uh, I think we have the other engine on us, don't don't we? Let's go check that out real quick. Let's go take the whole damn engine off. Go back in here. Yeah, look at this. We got another engine right here. And this engine, I think, was much better. It had like a couple of worn out parts, but it wasn't that bad, man. Need a new oil filter, though. Uh, we do have one right here. And it's a Walia brand, so let's go ahead and chuck that in there. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And at this point, it's just the oil that's all jacked up. We can replace that. That's not too bad. Uh, we could fix up the starter and stuff like that. Generate over here looks like it needs some help, too. We got a brand new drive belt, though, so that's not too shabby. Let's start by fixing up the engine. Engine only needs 80 bucks to get running good. So, boom, there we go. Engine's all nice and fixed up. We gotta go ahead and tune up everything if we want to. I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's just tune up some of the, some of the stuff real quick. Like the starter. Go ahead and get that all fixed up. Got a, a mass, a cranking consumption. You can see there's a lot of like, man, there's a lot of stats to all these things. So if you're a gearhead, you might enjoy this a little bit. I mean, obviously nothing's as good as a real thing, guys, but come on. Do the best we can. How are the tires and rims looking? Ooh, tires are like brand new, man. Rims are like brand new too, damn. How you like that? Oh, you can take all this off if you want. And in here, you can see your brakes and your control arms and whatnot, too. So that's, like I said, man, there are pieces all over this car. And the pieces have pieces. So, man, exhaust is brand new. I think we got ourselves a cherry, boys. I think we got ourselves a cherry differential box. Looking good. I was a little bit used. But we could fix it if we wanted to. I'm not too worried about it, though. How about our suspension? Suspension's looking good. Headlights are used up a little bit. 80% over there, 80% over there. How about a radiator? Ooh. 60%, huh? It's all worn out. All right. I wonder how the radiator was... Oh, I don't think that this has... Um. I don't think that our other vehicle that we had an extra radiator on us. Let's go ahead and remove this real quick. Go back into the newspaper over here. Maybe we can find one for this. You guys say radiator or radiator? See here, we got one for a Wanja. That's not what we need, though. Thermostat, water pump. Oh, here we go. New radiator for a Walia. Or we can get a used one for 140. Why get a used one? We can do, get a new one for 10 bucks more, man. Holy crap. Yeah, that's what I want right up in there. Let's go ahead and put this. Let's go ahead and put this thing up in there. Boom. Now we just need a fan. Let's go grab the fan off of the old one. Let's see here. Grab the cooling fan. Go ahead and remove this. Put our cooling fan on. Bam. There we go. Now it's looking pretty good. And install. Sweet. So now we have a brand new radiator here. What else What else could we check on this? All right, let's see here. Dashboard looking good. All our instruments are intact. Steering column looking fine, 100%. Man, I don't think I've ever gotten this lucky. Like when I was messing around before, 
Like, all my stuff was jacked up big time, guys. Like, I, everything needed to be repaired, but this is looking great. Okay, so, things are looking pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and let her down real quick, and we'll kind of mess around a little bit with the oil. Get some new oil in here. Oh, look at that oil. Yeah, it looks like shit. There we go. Brand new oil, nice and clean. Got plenty of water in it. I mean, we can wash it if we want to. I guess we will. I don't know if it'll lighten it up at all. Eh, a little bit. Not too shabby. Do some body work here. Get all the dents pounded out and such. There we go. Now it's looking nice and smooth, baby. How's the battery on this thing? Battery's looking fine. All right, boys, let's go ahead and start her up and see how she runs. Oh, God. Well, runs like hammer crap. So we got to figure out what's wrong with it. Let's see here. What else haven't we looked at over here? How about the carburetor? Carburetor looks okay. Ah, right here. Look at this. Our air filter is jacked up. So do we have an extra air filter on us? Oh, we do. Got one at 85%. There we go. Throw on a brand new generic air filter. Let's see now. Will it run any better? Let's go ahead and turn her on. Uh, nope. Still getting some backfiring, man. Well, I went underneath here and found out that our gearbox is crap as well. Uh, let's see here. It's bad. 70%. Uh, let's just go ahead and fix the gearbox right now so that our gearbox is all in one piece. What else do we have? Man, there's so much crap down here. Look at all this stuff, man. Thermostat's looking okay. So that's fine. How about our drive shaft? How's that? Drive shaft's 100%. See, boys, at least I know where the freaking drive shaft is, right? Sway bar and control arms are looking okay. Okay, very good. Front sway bar is just fine. Excellent. Look at this. You got suspension and hubs as well. Oh, that's at 100%. You even got the freaking horn. You can put a different horn in if you want to. Damn. Now, here we go. Here's something that's still messed up. Our tail lights are all jacked up. You can see right here, we've got one broken right tail light. This one over here, I think, is fixable. Yeah, this one's all right. Two bucks to fix it. I'll spend $2 to fix it. That's no big deal. So we need a right tail light. I want to get this thing, like, in perfect damn condition. Or, like, the best, the best condition I can get in. It's still running real rough, though, man. I can't figure out what the roughness is coming from. Everything else should be in decent condition right now. But uh, let's go ahead and replace the tail light real quick. Back over to the newspaper, damn it. Are there no tail lights? Oh god, I'm gonna get friggin' pulled over by the Australian police. And Lord knows what'll happen then. All right, the car sounds a little beat, but I think it runs pretty good for the most part. Woo! Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of backfire. You boys know how it is, though. This kind of stuff happens a little great. Let's go ahead and wander around here for a little bit, see how we do. Oh god. Oh, oh, what a beater. Oh, what a beater. Um, all right. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus. All right, drives pretty good. I mean, gray doesn't drive too good, but the car itself drives pretty good. Got four speeds here, getting up to about 80 kilometers per hour. Not too shabby. I think we have some extra views right here. Yeah, there we go. Got like a third person view, a slightly higher third person view, and then kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like an over the shoulder view. Oh God, oh sweet Mary and God. And there's like a, uh, like a Grand Theft Auto view or something like that. Oh God, don't hit the sign. <laughs> it wasn't long. It wasn't long before Greg could take something out. So, it looks like to shift in this game, it's the uh, the actual shift button on the keyboard. You know me, I'm a freaking scumbag keyboard user. You know how it is. We got a gas station up here, I think. Yeah, a little petrol station up here, as they say. And what else is around here? I haven't really messed around the map yet. God, this thing sounds freaking rough. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll maybe we'll replace the entire engine or something. We'll probably have to make a couple more bucks too. Now, to be fair. This is like the crappiest car you could possibly buy. Like we have like the starter car here. Oh, there's your kangaroos. Couldn't go on the Australian Outback with a couple of kangaroos. What if we'll get some air here? Going almost 100 kilometers per hour. We're doing pretty good actually. All right, around the corner here. A little mill over in that vicinity. 
Uh, yeah, the turning's not too bad. Oh, hey, we got like uh, some some vegetation over here. I didn't know there was any of that over in Australia. That's not too bad at all. Let's go. Let's keep going around here a little bit, boys. Oh, I'm gonna have to downshift for this. I don't know if the old beater can make it up here. Hold on, let's give it a shot though. Come on now, don't. Come on, Walia. Don't fail me now. Urgh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get up there. Get up there. Shit. Well, that's as far as we go for right now. Our car is is far too crap to go any further. Uh, but. Eh, how we doing on on overheating? We're getting a little bit of heat there too. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 oh. Got a feather! Got a feather! It! Got a feather! It! There we go! God, it sounds like we're shooting off a freaking shotgun over here. It's like it's like World War II going off. Every couple of seconds, bam, pop, bam. We're going off road back to town, boys. We'll see how this thing handles off road. A little bit of a path over here. You never know what you might find, man. I don't want to run over any dingoes, though, or anything like that. I don't know if those freaking things are endangered or what. All right, just around the bend here. Doing pretty good. Like your little rally track. You boys know how it is. Oh, God. All right. So far, so good. I think over here is, like, the main part of town. I don't know how big the entirety of the map is. Uh, I've never messed around with it that much. Let's see, where's old Charlie's shop? Because I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for right now. Oh, we got a pub. Hold on. I see a pub, boys. Pub Nauru or whatever. Oh, man, is it closed down? Ugh. Don't mind me if I just run into shit. It doesn't look like there's anyone inside. Can I... Can we go in or anything like that? All right, guys. I'd love, I'd love to get a little handle on some Australian beer, but I can't seem to go into the pub yet. I don't know if that's coming or what. We got ourselves a uh, trailer park over there. I don't really know what all that's about. Let's go ahead and pull back in, though, to Charlie's garage with our beater. Oh, that must be the gas pumps that uh, old Charlie has. Heads up, Charlie. I'll run your ass over, man. All right. So that's it for now, folks. That's what we got. That is our brand new Walia. But I have a feeling we're going to have to, like, maybe win some races or uh, sell some extra cars and stuff like that to get something better. Because you can see, right now, there was something. I, I loaded up the paper a little bit off camera, and there was something cool over here. Look at this freaking supercharged V8 Wallia, man. That's what you want. Look at this Magara over here looking pretty good, too. Supercharged 4x4 off-road. Hell yeah. Boot and bang. Big wheel wreck for 2300 Tell me what you think about Revhead. We'll mess around with it a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it until the next time, though. Stay foxy and much love.